All right, today let's dive into the wild, wobbly, and utterly mind-bending world of quantum networking, where the internet gets a glow up that even the most dramatic TikTok filter couldn't match. This is Knowing is Winning, and today I'll talk about how quantum networks will change the internet forever. Picture this, you're sipping coffee, scrolling through cat videos, blissfully unaware that the internet as you know it is about to pull a magic trick and vanish into a cloud of quantum magic. But don't worry, this isn't a dystopian plot twist. It's the dawn of the quantum internet where the data doesn't just travel, it teleports. And no, this isn't sci-fi. Scientists are already doing it over your grandma's internet cables. So buckle up because we are about to unravel how quantum networks will flip the script on everything from secure messaging to why your smart fridge might soon be unhuckable. But let's start with basics. The internet today is like a highway where data zips around in cars, you know, packets, that anyone with a radar gun, see, hacker, can intercept. Encryption? That's just a fancy lock on the trunk. But quantum networking, it's like replacing those cars with teleporting ninjas. And here is the kicker. These ninjas are entangled particles. Imagine you have two magical dice. Roll one in New York and the other in Tokyo instantly shows the same number. No Wi-Fi, no carrier pigeons, just spooky action at a distance, as Einstein called it. This isn't a party trick. It's the foundation of quantum key distribution, QKD, where encryption keys are shared using entangled photons. If a hacker tries to peek, the dice change numbers, and everyone knows someone is snooping. Try to deal with that, identity thieves. Now, you might be thinking, cool story, but my Zoom calls still buffer. Well, that's fair. But let's talk about the Beijing-Shanghai Quantum Communication Network, a 2,000 kilometer fiber optic line that's been quietly shuffling quantum encrypted data since 2017. It's like a secret tunnel under the Great Wall, except instead of warriors, it's photons doing the heavy lifting. China is not alone. Europe is building the EuroQCI, a quantum network stretching across 27 countries to protect everything from power grids to your embarrassing DMs. And in the UK, researchers recently sent a quantum secure video call from Bristol to Cambridge. 410 kilometers of fabric op optic cable later, they proved you can stream the crown without Netflix worrying about the Russian hackers. But here is the plot twist. Quantum signals are divas. They hate long distances. Send a photon down a fiber cable, and after 100 kilometers, it's like a marathon runner collapsing at mile 2025. 20, Enter quantum repeater, the energy drinks of the quantum world. Unlike classical repeaters that just copy and paste data, which is a hacker's dream, of course, quantum repeaters use entanglement to refresh signals without ever reading them. Think of it as um, passing a secret note through a chain of friends where each friend adds a layer of encryption without peeking. By the time it reaches the recipient, even the NSA would need a quantum computer and a time machine to crack it. But now, let's address the elephant in the room. Quantum teleportation. Um, no, we are not uh, Star Trek beaming humans yet, uh, sorry about that. But scientists at the uh, Northwestern University just teleported quantum data over regular internet cables while people are binge watching Stranger Things. How? By hijacking a fraction of the fiber's bandwidth 
to send entangled photons. It's like sneaking a secret message into a Taylor Swift song, subtle, undetectable, and weirdly brilliant. This breakthrough means quantum networks could piggyback on existing infrastructure, uh, turning your Comcast cable into a quantum superhighway. So what does this mean for you? Imagine a future where your smart home isn't just smart, it is actually clairvoyant. Your thermostat adjusts before you realize you're hot, your lights dim when you're moody, and your toaster refuses to burn your bread because it's entangled with your sleep tracker. Beyond convenience, quantum networks could revolutionize healthcare, like secure transmissions of uh, MRI uh, scans or um, finance um, in uh, fraud-proof pr uh, transactions, and even um, protect voting systems. And let's not forget the quantum internet's peace de resistance, global and hackable communication. Governments, militaries, and corporations are salivating over this, because who wouldn't want a VPN that's literally governed by the laws of physics? Well, of course, there are hurdles. Building a global quantum internet is like assembling IKEA furniture blindfolded. Possible, but why? Well, for starters, quantum devices are finicky. They require temperatures colder than space and setups more delicate than a souffle. Plus, entanglement is fragile. A stray photon or a noisy Wi-Fi signal can break the spell. But here is the thing. We are already solving these problems. The UK quantum network mixes different quantum tech like a DJ blending tracks, proving that entanglement and traditional data can coexist on the same fiber. And companies like Aliro Quantum are working on entanglement as a service, EAS, which sounds like a um, dating app for <laughs> particles, but it's actually a blueprint for an on-demand uh, quantum security. In the end, the quantum internet isn't just about speed or security. It's about rewriting the rules of connection. We are talking about the world where data isn't just transmitted, but shared in a way that's fundamentally inseparable, like twins finishing each other's sentences. It's a world where your privacy is protected not by firewalls, but by the universe itself. And sure, Today's quantum networks are still in their awkward uh, teenage phase, uh, expensive, temperamental, and mostly confined to labs. But remember, the original internet started as a Pentagon project to share research papers. And, you know, look at it now. It's where we argue whether uh, pineapple belongs on pizza or not. And when you look at the quantum internet's trajectory, it will make today's tech look like dial-up. So, next time your Zoom glitches or your credit card gets hacked, take solace in this. Somewhere in a lab, a scientist is entangling photons, building repeaters, and laughing at classical hackers. The future of internet isn't just secure. It's plain spooky. And honestly, we are here for it. And this was Knowing is Winning. Thank you very much for watching.